Hey, how are you? Let's talk about branding, your niche and your content. On today's episode of Get Inspired with Jason, the podcast and YouTube show, I'm gonna give you some simple tips on how to really excel your current branding of all the content you have and connect it to your current followers or potential followers. A lot of times we get so caught up saying, I wanna, I wanna pose and look all sexy. I wanna post X, Y, Z, and we're forgetting, wait a minute, if I have a business, is this going to keep my current followers or is it gonna attract my ideal audience, right? So when we break down the niche of each specific category in your content, it makes life so much effortless and so easy. So we're gonna start off by saying, number one, we wanna have a calendar calendar of events of what you're posting at least two weeks in advance, right? So let's just say you have one, it's your, say your positive quotes, right? Whether it's once a week or twice a week. You know you wanna put out things that are feel good vibrations, depending on your content. I'm, I'm relating it to mine as a mindset life and wellness coach. So we work on that and also branding tips, right? So I say, okay, I wanna do some positive tips and positive affirmations. That may be one category. So I know that's gonna happen example on a Tuesday, right? What do I wanna post on Wednesday? So category two, say you want to put a product that you have for sale. You may just not wanna put the product for sale. You may wanna include, you know, maybe some before and after testimonials, right? Whether it be photos or a written testimonial or even better, a video testimonial of your current clientele. That's gonna cause your current audience or your new audience to be like, hey, you know what, this is awesome. You know, I really want in, I want in. Thirdly, you may want to do a giveaway. Giveaways are a great free and, and free marketing as a whole and you don't have to spend a dollar. Why do I say that? Because say it's, uh, say you're a coach, uh, maybe a hairdresser, you wanna give away free haircut, hair, hair coloring for example, do a giveaway, right? One lucky winner will win, example, $70 haircut. God, that's an expensive haircut. <laughs> no, but you get the point. And what happens here is, not only are you gonna get people engaging, which I'm gonna get into now into the next topic, which is gonna cause a lot of people to really say, hey, I wanna actively do this, but new people, people that are not in your circle, AKA your potential clientele. If you know people are, into your uh, arena, category, say it's haircuts or maybe it's branding, relationships, whatever it is, do a giveaway based on that. Now, why giveaways work, right? And there's a lot more that you can put in your calendar, but I like to sum things up pretty quickly. And of course, per usual, ask me questions, whether it's through the audio podcast, the YouTube, et cetera, or even Instagram, Facebook, send a DM. The more active you have a post, right? Example over here, the giveaway. The more comments you get, right? The more visible your actual post is globally. So to audiences that would never would have known of you. Now, the reason why that works and you want people engaging is because that's how you're going to get more clientele, right? And that's a big part of branding that people, they get lazy, right? I've given this example in past episodes, someone gives you a compliment, right? So in real life, right? Nine out of 10, you're going to be like, Oh, thanks so much, right? Maybe you too. Maybe you don't like their outfit. You're just like, thanks. At least you say thanks. If you have morals, if you don't have morals, then I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> you may want to get off of this episode. But needless to say, you want to treat your social media the same exact way like it is in real life. Right? So if someone says, Oh my God, that's an awesome quote, right? That's an awesome workout video you just posted, right? I'm going to try it out. Don't just give it a thumbs up or a like engage with that person. Cause the more engagement you get, more people are going to see it. Right. And lastly, because I can give you again, it depends. This is why I get hired for one-on-one -on -one social media branding consultations. And this is you right now, no matter what, category in the world that is, send an email. Tell me what your online business is or storefront, what you want to conquer, right? Because I do that outside of all the life, wellness, and relationship coaching. Here's the deal. Always, always, and I've said this before as well, be yourself, right? Do you know how many times I've gone out in public and I've met 
men and women that, you know, they have millions of followers, but they don't look nothing like they do in, in, in real life. And you're like, what the heck? Or maybe sometimes people put on this act and you meet them in person, they're complete dickheads. Just be you. Hopefully these branding tips and how to attract your niche, your audience helps you. If you have any questions, let me know. And if you like this, please take a screenshot, whether it's on the podcast, the YouTube show, post it. Doesn't matter if it's on Twitter, Facebook, tag me. I love when you guys do this, right? Keep it caliente. Stay inspired, baby. I'll see you in the next one. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you're a new viewer and don't forget to click on the bell so you can get notifications every time a new show releases. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and feel free to leave your comments. I'm Jason Roselle and you're watching Get Inspired with Jason.